guys, and welcome to a video titled, The Vlog I Never Uploaded. This video is going to be basically discussing about my chan how my channel has grown over the past couple years, and at the end, I'm going to show you two videos from Summer 2017 that I never uploaded. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Well, I guess I should just start from the beginning. Um, it was about February 2017 when I had gotten the idea and I was telling all my friends at school, Hey guys, I have a YouTube account. Yeah, I didn't have one at the time, so I was kind of lying. And that was a terrible voice crack. But, um, they were like, let's go watch Will's videos. And I was like, yeah, let's not do that. And so fast forward a few months and we come to may 2017 um you know it was a regular afternoon and i went down to my friend uh dj's house you know him he's in a couple of my videos and we were just outside messing around and i just got the idea to start recording so on may 15th first vlog came out it didn't take much editing it was just splicing a bunch of videos together but yeah and I uploaded it and it actually took off lots of people commented I there's a lot I got lots of support on that video so that's kind of what motivated me to keep going the next video I filmed was the invisible um, it was originally called no home but we realized we weren't going to continue that series, so I just renamed it The Invisible about a year ago. And it was just us pretending that there were like invisible aliens outside and we had guns and stuff. They were fake. And we were like attacking them and stuff and they were trying to kill us. But anyway, after that I decided, hey, let's do gaming. And so I downloaded a bunch of screen recorders and the first one I did which currently I am still using is iSpring so then I just started recording Minecraft and my first video was Tornado Craft episode 1 a new start and back then I didn't have a microphone so you can barely hear me over the Minecraft audio so that's great but um, I did another episode which was mining 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 and then my final episode was we got a weather radar because after that um, I went on vacation but more about that later I accidentally corrupted the world and I had said in one of my earlier videos then that I was gonna be uploading a lot more over the summer that didn't happen because I was really mad about that world corruption and also the whole deal with the Lancaster vlogs I'll tell you about those later but Basically, the world file got corrupted, and I remade it, and I actually did make an episode 4, but I didn't upload it, and then after I made that episode, the world got corrupted again, so then I just cancelled the series, but um, anyway, after that in, um, I think it was September of 2017, yeah, September, or it was either September or August, I kind of, not really guilt tripped, but asked her a lot, my mom a lot, to get me a microphone at Walmart, like this headset I'm currently using to record this um, voiceover, it was 30 bucks, but it was actually really good, and I filmed my first Rare video, which was like 40 minutes or something, and I was extremely untalented and named it unnamed and I didn't find out that you couldn't rename worlds until like later and I was mad at myself so I made five episodes of that it's five or six I think it's five but it may be six um I don't know if I'm gonna keep continuing it it's just I don't know I just don't really like Terraria anymore but anyway 
Then my Switch unboxing came out. I had only uploaded one Terraria video, and then I had a huge break for like four more months until December when I got my Nintendo Switch, and so I made an unboxing on it. And that's currently my most popular video for some reason. It's like almost at a thousand views. And I actually got like a few subscribers from that video because they have no taste. I'm, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, that was my most popular video. That was kind of a high point for me. And then we come into 2018. I focused more on Terraria, and, I mean, that was pretty much it. Um, you know, Minecraft wasn't really there until, you know, 2019, which is this year right now. And, anyway, uh, May 15th, 2018 rolls around, I'm like, hey, it's, or er, May 24th, 2015. 2018 rolls around, I'm like, hey, it's my one year special, I'm gonna make a Minecraft video, for the heck of it. Well, I was two weeks late, for one, and also the file kept, like, not wanting to work, so, you know, I didn't use it, I just didn't upload, and I didn't upload for that summer, and then in the fall, I made a couple more Terraria videos, and... Actually, in 2018 is when I really got started on making videos. Or 2019 was when I really got started on making videos. So, the f Oh, right. The... Uh, anyway, after I posted, yeah, five episodes, House Construction, then I posted my first rail fanning video, Rail Fanning in Wildwood. It sucks. Uh, that's all we need to say about that. Um, then I made Terraria Randomness, which I really want to be more popular than it is. You know, it was just me and a couple of my friends, Jai and Matthew, messing around in my in Terraria. Why did I just say my? Anyway, then like most of my friends in my class found out about about my channel, and then they decided, hey, we're all gonna subscribe to you. So they made me make my 20 sub special. So, I made it. And then the live streams. Another test was the first one. Or, the first one was test. That's unlisted. Another test was second. And then my Smash Bros. Ultimate Terraria Randomness live stream. The audio got messed up. I don't know why. And so, I don't know when I'm going to live stream again. Because my computer is like, hanging on one leg. So, we should probably... I should probably fix it. Anyway, then my first video of 2019, Tornado Craft Redemption Part 1. That was just a video because I all of a sudden got smacked in the face with inspiration and made it. Then, Bus Vlog. We were on a charter bus going to Orlando. I wanted to make a video. That's all I need to say about that. Then my first Train Simulator 2019 video. I was doing a little scenario with Cone Pass, and yep, the audio was kind of loud, so you couldn't hear me. Mainline Freight, I just perfected it. Then I have F better FPS, it's just I got my graphic graphics driver updated, and it made all my audio better, so yay. A video, I was bored, I made it. The Rail Fanning Florida S-Line series, I'd gotten a new iPad for Christmas, which is actually what I'm using to edit this video. And I also got a tripod, so I made Rail Fanning videos. Trains World Update, it's a Trains World Update. Rail Fanning and the folks in Funnel is just another Rail Fanning video. PBM in a nutshell. Only a few will understand that, and that's all I'm gonna say. If you get it, you're a legend. If you don't, that's fine. Then, can't build effect detector, yap, rail fanning video. My tripod broke after I made that, so that was fun. Meteor shower scenario, just another TS 2019 video. And bus vlog 2. So, here we are now, where currently I have 43 subscribers. <sighs> it's been a 
fun journey actually over these two years so I guess I should probably just end it right now this little commentary um you know it's, it's th I want to thank you guys for supporting me you're, you're like the best fans I could have to be honest so yeah prepare for 10 year old me being cringy in these next two videos and I'm gonna do Lancaster vlog part 3 first because it's the better of the two but anyway that's pretty much it and yeah see ya what's going on guys welcome back to another vlog and yes <clears throat> We are here at the hotel, the Ka Red Caboose Motel, as you can see right there, our caboose is Canadian Pacific, so yeah, there are other cabooses around, like QP, Seaboard, Great Northern, Santa Fe, Conrail, all that good stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway. Let's not waste any time and get right into this vlog. They're firing the steam locomotives up over there. In case you can't see it, there's smoke right over there. And over there. So yeah, see you in a few minutes. We'll see you in a minute. But for me, it will be probably about an hour. So yeah, see you then. So we are here at the Pennsylvania Museum of Transportation. Or yeah, let's walk down. Let's yeah. walk down. Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. We got model trains. These look like about 1960s, 1950s. That looks like a 482 locomotive type. Another electric, diesel electric. Um, we've got a little yard here with what looks like an 060. You see that right yeah, there. Yeah, that's an 060 switch. Got a bridge there for cars. This heritage thing. 1800. Basically, history of American railroads. Nineteen hundred, nineteen fifty, and then today, Norfolk Southern. Steam operation. We were at Roanoke shops last summer. Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's kind of odd. There's scores of those GG ones around. We got three. Which are just so cool looking. I mean, we got the original. Got this.
This is a 440, but it's a modernized 440. Oh boy, they got some big electrics over there. Looks like we've got a 442 over here. See, four, four, two. A two, four, oh. One of these old electrics. I forget what they're called. What, that's a GG1. Apparently it's called a GG1. We've got a Conrail diesel locomotive. Diesel electric, to be exact. Let's see if we can go in it. So we couldn't go in it. It literally just closed as I got well, there. The guy was saying we don't have any volunteers. This is a GP7. GP7? I know what a GP7 is. Okay. Well, I mean, GP7 and GP9 is to me kind of look alike. Hopper car. Oh. Looks like we got one of those 030s. I mean 060s. Nope, it's an 040. You don't see these anymore. Number 94. Got the tender here. Um, looks like this is a 460. Yep, 460. Some of the high speed steam locomotives on certain lines would have had track pans. These were between the rails, resting on the wooden ties. They'd be filled with water. A locomotive would come by, they would have a water scoop, which you can actually see a picture of over here. They'd drop their scoop and they would just suck up water. That way they didn't have to actually stop at a water tower to take on water. They could keep moving. Bit of history for you guys there. <laughs> yeah, look, if you could read what happens there. Looks like someone got flushed away. See, this is a, this is a scoop that would be under the tender that would drop down and scoop up the water. More history. This is actually scooping water. Looks like this is another GP7. Oh, nope, it's a GP9. Got engine, air compressor, the booster up there, the cab, wheels, all that stuff. Got an insulated box car, hoppers. You got a passenger coach over here, or a passenger car, whatever you call it. Like these work. Sounds like a steam locomotive's coming. Let's go see it. You can see the whole complex from up here. Got those men working on the boxcar. Actually, that looks like ice. So. That could possibly be an insulated box car. Looks like the light of that locomotive is on. Empty hopper. Oh. That's a very small 040 tank engine. You've got this GE down here. 
GE1. Um, 240 down there. Um, got the top of this nice locomotive right here, which is a 280. Actually, that's. Yeah, that's 280. There's a 280 over here. Got a 280 right there. That one. Oh, I did. This is a 440. Beautiful 440. What? Oh yeah, it's wood. Got some people running down there. A little station. Looks like it says Steen Man Station or something. I don't know. Anyway, see you when we get to the bottom. So we are in this very quiet room. Which looks like a basically an art display of artwork. Basically an art gallery. It's very dark in here too. Got a Conrail display. Looks like a smaller model of that. Hope you guys can see this, but Got a smaller model of that 280 that was outside that we just saw earlier. Well, let's go down the first floor so we can get back over. Yeah, see you guys when we get down. Got steam locomotive running up here. Coming up on it. Maybe. Oh, we're getting pulled by the, we're getting pulled by a 210. We're getting pulled by a 210. This is good. This is cool. This is cool, right here.
Just gonna watch it come by, guys. Here it comes. There goes one guy. Turn on. Pennsylvania up there. I think Reading and Erie are going to pass at the same time. Oh, well, there goes Erie. Oh, it's turning day. Where's Reading? Is Reading stopped? Yeah, reading has stopped. Here it comes. What's this one? Ready? today's vlog. I'll probably make one tomorrow. I don't know though. So yeah. Hope you all enjoyed and please like, comment, and subscribe for more vlogs. See you guys tomorrow. So we're here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Almost there, but we decided to make a pit stop here because it's a historical monument for the Civil War, if you didn't know that. So anyway, we're here at stop three, taking the auto tour. I would have done this earlier, but I didn't get the chance because my phone battery was dead. So yeah. We got the railroad tracks down there. Monuments surrounding the entire area. Mountains in the distance. Yeah. Guess I'll see you guys at the next stop. 
So yeah, we are here at the fourth stop of the tour, the North Carolina Monument. Yeah. So anyway, that is a statue. I forget what it's for, but um, yeah. And that is the field I believe they fought on on the second day. So yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is the North Carolina Monument. Yep. The North Carolina Monument. So, um, anyway, I guess I'll see you guys at the next stop in our tour. Thought I'd just show you guys this. Florida Memorial. Which is, by the way, if you didn't know, the state that I come from. So, yeah. Anyways, yeah. We are going to the next stop now so see you there so guys this is actually the last well, this is actually where the last battle is in the worst place actually uh, I don't know if it's a I actually think it's a monument but yes this above the trees. So yeah. See you guys when we get to the next one. So we're actually back down now. So um I just want to show you guys the um yeah the battlefield from down here. It may not have looked far from up but it it, it was it, it was far see it, yeah, what I was showing you was way, way, as far as it'll zoom in, way over there. Yeah, this, this is a really huge field. Oops. So, yeah, you can expect both sides probably got pretty tired because they had to run all the way across this. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next monument. So this is the Alabama Monument and it's pretty special to our family because it is actually because my great 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 grandfather was part of the Alabamians and fought in the Northern Virginia Army. Just a little fact for you guys. So, this is a pretty cool monument, actually. And it's pretty special. So, yeah, we'll see you at the next stop, which actually the car. is that hill right there. And there's a car. Yes. We'll be there next. See you in a few minutes. So, we are up here on a little round top. Um... So yeah.
pretty spectacular view, as you can see. If you can see way, way, way over there, that tower is where we were a few scenes ago. So yeah, spectacular view here. And that is General Warren, I believe. Wait. So yeah. Spectacular view. See you guys.